Fresh off their second presidential debate, the candidates are back on the campaign trail in key battleground states to pick up where they left off. President Obama is feeling re-energized, and Mitt Romney is still riding the momentum from his first performance. Less than three weeks before Election Day, both campaigns are running out of time to sway those undecided voters. Joining us from Washington, D.C. is Leanne Caldwell, political reporter for CBSNews.com. Leanne, good morning. Good morning. So what was interesting to me is that this was obviously a different style of debate. It was question and answer, but both candidates seemed pretty able to get their message across. They did. And what the, why this was so crucial for the Obama campaign is that President Obama, after the last debate, the focus turned on him. He had spent his entire, this entire election trying to make this election about Mitt Romney. And he was very successful at that. He defined Mitt Romney all through the summer months. And he really, uh, he, he did a very good job of that. But then in the first debate, uh, the, the, the talking points turned to uh, President Obama and he was on the defensive. And so what Tuesday night's debate did is it allowed the president the opportunity, which he successfully did, to give him an, uh, an evil, uh, even playing field again. And so uh, he carried that into the campaign trail the next day. And for Romney, uh, he was able to uh, seize on the momentum he gained from the first debate, carry it into the second, and then we have a race in the final stretch. Yes, we certainly do a feisty race, to say the least. So, Leanne, I want to ask you about women voters. I think one of the main quotes we kept hearing on loop yesterday, the day after the debate, was binders full of women. How did women respond to all the talk about women after that debate? Well, we'll have to wait and see, really, for uh, additional polls to come out to see how women really do respond to that. Um, but what was totally evident is that on the campaign trail, uh, both candidates really pushed the women's issue. The Romney campaign focused uh, the women's issue based on economics. They talked about how the number of women in poverty has increased since uh, President Obama has entered office. And uh, what President Obama and Vice President Joe Biden did on the campaign trail is that they talked about how Mitt Romney will be bad for women. They'll be bad for their health care. They'll be bad for their pocketbooks. And that they're just not a good alternative moving forward. And so the women's issue keeps popping up again and again in this, uh, in this election. Um, even after a slight lull for, for a few weeks at a time. But the reason is, is because many of the undecided voters tend to be women, the women, the ones who aren't yet committed, the ones who are just now trying to pay or starting to pay attention. And so we're going to continue to hear about how women impact this race. Do you have any idea, I mean, who did, wh which candidate resonated more with women, given that they're so important in this election? Does either of them sort of have the momentum more so than the other right now? President Obama has continued has had the momentum for uh, uh, for the women's vote uh, for throughout this election. Uh, recent polls before the debate show that um, Mitt Romney was starting to close that gap very slightly, especially in some of these swing states. And uh, and so after the debate, we'll we'll have to see who, if uh, Mitt Romney was able to continue to close that gap or if President Obama was able to widen it back up again. But moving into the last uh, few weeks of the election, President Obama did have the advantage among women. I want to talk now about Libya because there was certainly a very tense moment in which the moderator had to get involved. And that was, of course, when they were talking about the attacks in Libya and how they were handled. Governor Romney, of course, accused the president of not referring to the attacks in Benghazi as terrorism. And then, of course, the president saying he did say it was an act of terror in the Rose Garden the day after the attacks. Talk a little bit about that. I mean, how have both sides re responded to this? Well, the Libya, they're both kind of right. Um, Mitt Romney is right in saying that it took the president a couple weeks to come out and definitively say that this was not about a movie, that this was not a spontaneous protest, that it was terrorism. Uh, but uh, in his uh, remarks the day after the uh, Libyan incident on September 12th, the president did refer to it as an act of terror. He wasn't specific. He, he did say that it was also about the movie as well. And so both campaigns are really trying to find their ground on this issue. The president on, was on defense 
until Mitt Romney kind of botched that question at Tuesday's debate. But I will say that this is a good, uh, the Romney campaign has had uh, um, a tough time throughout this entire election, really gaining ground on the whole issue of foreign policy. They really stuck to the economy, and when they try to veer into the foreign policy realm, they're not really picking up too much steam there. And so moving into the last debate, which takes place on Monday, just a few days from now, which is focused entirely on foreign policy, the Libya response in Tuesday's debate definitely gives the president a little bit of momentum and and confidence moving into that. Well, if anything is for certain, it is that round three will be just as interesting as the other two. Leanne Caldwell, political reporter for CBSNews.com. Thank you. Thank you, Benita.